and asks about um, your your leadership now of the the BRICS. Uh, in particular, how will uh, your BRICS finance ministers uh, meeting, which you're ho hosting very shortly, October 14th, uh, how will you know what, what will the priorities be, and how will that work build on the G20 summit uh, in in Anjou in China uh, a couple of months ago? But as far as the BRICS is concerned, uh, just if you recollect, this whole idea was. Uh, born out of an approach paper which was uh, prepared by the Goldman Sachs in uh, 2001. Originally, it was felt that there were four countries which were emerging economies and which, whose uh, GDP over the next few decades is going to be much larger than the developed economies itself. And after Russia, China, Brazil and India, then South Africa got added. Uh, I think the BRICS economies itself uh, 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 today are facing their own challenges. Uh, three years ago, where reforms in India had slowed down under the last government, uh, I read articles where the, there was a prospect of I being dropped out of the BRICS. Uh, uh, and uh, I think in a changed situation, uh, 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 we probably are the, the uh, the faster growing amongst the BRICS itself. Uh, but there are a lot of interests in common that we have. And currently the BRICS uh, finance ministers uh, uh, and the leaders have been meeting in terms of greater economic cooperation. The infrastructure bank is already in place. There are projects it's been supporting. The, there is a contingency uh, amount which has been provided for. India has suggested uh, <coughs> A rating agency, as far as the BRICS is concerned, to rate the various projects, etc. It's still in the initial stages. Uh, I think uh, it's working well. And between the five emerging economies, uh, it's an important level of cooperation. Well, I'll just say I, I, I used to be Canada's uh, G20 uh, finance deputy, and I worked closely with many of your, uh, your, your uh, former colleagues. Uh, certainly listening to you um, and listening to the ambition and, and just the, the common sense approach your government is bringing, um, I, I, I think you know, the world the world needs to hear from more and more. We need to see more India at the global table at the BRICS uh, and at the G20.